I had some really weird dreams. Again, I always have the weirdest dreams here in Australia. Last night it was the, the bear, giant grizzly bear with the white stripings on it, chasing me. It was like defending this whole territory. Weird, the bouldering area I've been exploring in my dreams for like years now. It's the weirdest thing is when you return to places you've been so frequently in your dreams that you get to know them. And you're there and you're like, it's almost like this exists. I kind of want to design the things that I've seen, the climbing areas I want to draw. It's confusing, are they real? Oh my god, we're so sick. We're just going on top of this cliff band right here, right? And then the other one's up in that saddle, and then the other thing is behind me, right? This is the best part about finding problems in the world is when you come back one year later to see actually how sick they were. Because on the recon, you're just like overwhelmed with all the sick shit you see. But when you actually go back with crash pads and brushes, you're just like, oh my god. We're in paradise. This is the best rock climbing in the world. We're about to go to the best problems in the world. When does that happen? What day of the week does that happen? Friday, today. Friday. So this is one of the oh, things that. we found last year. It looks like people have climbed some of them. The easier stuff, but not the harder stuff. Well, here we are in another beautiful day in Australia. The weather's not perfect, but do we do we care? No, we're here. Um, when you only got one month in Australia, you know, you gotta make it count. So if it's dry, you climb. <laughs> Even though it's wet everywhere but the rock. So in fact, we're quite lucky actually we can climb in a situation like this. Yeah. <laughs> like on a really sick project. This is the new rig, man, the mega rig. If I had to choose the one problem I've seen so far, I'd like to do this one. This is kind of day one. Right here in the Arvo, uh, in Australia. So, uh, not really, not really keen on that sun, eh? But uh, seems like centering a bit of a thin, thin band of clouds over there. Probably gonna just hope it just cools that sun down a bit, so it doesn't, don't go and cut your fingers. We've been in Australia for 18 days now, and uh, I reckon it's been sunny three out of the last 18. So that means it's probably like 15th day of rain. We decided to go exploring because there's nothing else to do since everything's wet. And uh, we came out, we found some cliff bands and stuff, some cool power band stuff, and all is off looking for some boulders. But yeah, we're out here doing it still, you know.
against all odds, I guess, huh? Might as well just try. Last day here. Most likely the last day. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. We're at the big, big rig. Proved to be a lot harder than I thought. Kind of at first thought it would just go down. Even if it was pouring rain the whole month. Shit conditions, but... It's not proving to be as doable as I thought. It's actually a hard boulder. Which is good. Something to come back to. It doesn't go down this trip. But uh, it's definitely a boulder you need skin for. And that's something we don't have anymore. Mm -hmm. Just like no more skin, no more strength. Too many days on in a row. <laughs> I don't think we've rested in the last 10 days. So whatever. We're gonna give her. Give her some more. This was the one boulder I wanted to come back to last year that I saw on a recon. Had some photos of it, always showed it to people. We came back this year and little did we know there was like an incredible hard mega line on this boulder that I didn't even notice. I saw the easier thing, but I knew there might be something in this section. And then over the course of the rainy month, we just kind of battled out trying to figure out all the sections and do the ultra conditiony bottom, which is just these small little crystally holds and they're incredibly sticky today. So we got lucky like one day of the trip. Luckily it's the last one. We actually got the friction we needed to execute the moves that we believed that we could do. But up until now they've all been kind of just a fabrication of our imagination most days because we're like we could do this if it was for instance like this or that. And here we are. We just did it. <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> 